Hi, uh, good afternoon. My name is Maher Lewis and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, the, the following. Um, so don't get frustrated. It, it does work. It's very dynamic and it's very useful. So uh, I'm going to show you to you right now. Um, let me see here. Actually, just give me a second and I'm going to go um, and grab a drawing from our server. That I was going to try to show us before, so bear with me real quick. Alright, so what I've got set up here is a really simple example of a, a small subdivision. And I want to be able to grade the lot of this subdivision. I've already got my corridor developed. So if we come in and take a look at the corridor object here, and what I've done is um, just done the corridor out to the, excuse me, out to the um, extent of the right-of-way. So let's take a look at the assembly. If I just go ahead and zoom to this, right? So I've got my lane. I've got a curve. I've got a, a, a sidewalk here with some boulevarding. And then I've made that so it is a distance of 25 feet to the edge of that sidewalk, meaning my right of way. And just to make sure that I have a surface that I can sample from, I added another little link at 2% to make sure I go just a little bit beyond my actual right of way. And so if we look at this corridor now, and I take a look at the object viewer, okay, we'll see, I'll show you here, we'll see that I've got the lane, the curve, and, and that, that boulevard piece, okay. So now I've got a model that represents that, that roadway. I want to come in now and grade from the edges of my corridor. What I can do is come into the utilities for the corridor, and there's actually a feature here to, to export grading feature lines from the corridor. And I'll come in and grab the right of way, and I have a separate site to do this grading in because I want to separate the, the topology of my feature lines to my grading from the topology of my parcels. And do the same here on the other side. Okay. And just to make it clear, I'm going to grab this line, excuse me, up here. So right click here. I'm going to go to the feature line properties. This is new to 2007. I can change these feature line properties right on the fly. I'm going to apply a different style. So now we can see them a, lot, a little bit easier here. But what has happened is I've exported that information from the corridor surface. It's grabbed all those elevations um, at all the different uh, sample points along the corridor. So all these grips you see here have actual elevation to them. And it's from the corridor surface. Now I'll come into my grading. I'll create a new grading group, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the automatic surface. And I'm going to use the criteria grading by distance. And I'm going to create grading from these features. I'm going to grade to the outside of the road. And I don't know where, where your command line is here, but um, I'm going to use the toolbox. Okay, so I'll get it so I can show my command line. So specify distance. I'm going to go out 50 feet to create the first panel of grading, if you will. Um, I'm going to do it at a grade of 4%. And there we have it. And the one thing I forgot to do here is to actually weed the vertices down on that grading. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the command here, and I'll do it on the other side. There's this really cool tool in the feature lines that I can take this line here, and you'll see in a corner I've got probably vertices I really don't need, right? I have elevations in there, and it doesn't really matter because I'm going around that corner at a, at a constant flow. So what I want to do is 
weed those out. So if I come up to our feature line um, toolbar that Dan has got here, and I can do a thick curve, thick curve. And what it does is it, it recognizes where a radius should be. And now it's going to go ahead and turn that what used to be just segment into an actual arc. And in this case here, it's still got some vertical points. I'll again use some feature line. I'm going to delete elevation points. And I can just come in now. It's going to highlight those for me. And I'll delete out some of those elevation points. And now I have a nice clean line to be able to project the grading from. This is a, a good tip here, just deleting out these intermediate points or weeding out these points. If you have really tight curves and you kind of pro project out at a, at a far distance where they're going to, the projection will cross by weeding down these vertices. It'll it'll do the calculations a lot smoother and a lot quicker. Um, so let's go ahead now again, grade by distance. Great to the outside. I want to do a distance of 50. Slope, I want it to be great. Again, we're going to do 4%. Okay, now you can see as compared to the other panel, right, it, it moves out that transition, if you will. I just have that one target line instead of all these other target lines here. So a lot fewer triangles. Now let me again go and uh, keep the command running here. I want to do it again, entire length, 50, slope, I'm going to do grade. Now I'm going to go down minus 4% to create kind of uh, a nice panel of lot grading there. And while I'm here, I'm going to change to grade the surface. I'll grade the surface and pick my existing ground, essentially. And we'll do a uh, three to one projection for both cuts. So. so it's grading that for us. It's projecting, it's daylighting, if you will. And now I'm going to have, at least on the left side here, a surface that represents the lot grading from the corridor out to maybe the back of my lot. And it just takes a second to redisplay that surface. So quickly now, in fact, I've created, and just pay attention to the left side here, I've created lot grading, if you will. So now I can come in, I've got a really good starting point to maybe do some specific grading when I put in a house pad here or a driveway, or maybe this is good enough. Maybe this is my lot grading. It's a fairly flat site, so when we go to build this site, we just do 4% away from... Anyways, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.